Before our last duo, just a short reminder, stay with us after the official closing because we have a short, uh, small cocktail party. So next on, our final speakers, Marko Gavric and Vinko Bokšić, data scientist associates at Cantab PI. Uh, they believe that successful development and deployment of predictive AI requires a layer of deep and sophisticated future generation developed bespoke for the relevant use case. They will recall some well-known best practice examples as well as share their experience and examples. Sretno, dečki. Hi everyone, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, most of the people think that uh, highly successful uh, models need to use uh, highly complex uh, algorithms and, and have uh, millions or, or <laughs> billions or even trillions of parameters. Uh, today, we are here uh, to share with you our secret that uh, building uh, highly successful models uh, doesn't uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, doesn't have to to obtain uh, complex algorithms. So uh, let us first introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Marco, and this is my colleague Vinko. Uh, we are data scientists at, uh, at Kentapai. Uh, so our agenda for today, uh, first we are going to take you through two uh, examples of use cases from which you're going to uh, get our idea of how we, we are building our models. Uh, next, Vinko is going to take you through through the tools we use. And lastly, we are going to show you our end product, so Cantab Spy next, next best action platform. <clears throat> OK, so let's start. So our philosophy, uh, a typical use case has up to a million uh, data points. And uh, th they are from uh, multiple data sources in a high complex and business environment. So, uh, <clears throat> um, so the key steps for success is uh, many iterations of data engineering and complex bespoke feature generations. Generation. Um, so, we the, the main idea is to deeply understand the use case and the core of, of business for building, for building uh, features. And this, uh, this results in uh, more accurate models and uh, that have much higher business impact. So the first use case is credit risk scoring. So uh, here we want to uh, maximize the targeting population for cash loans. Uh, a problem that may occur is uh, not having customers that, that have no cr uh, credit history. And uh, here we successfully developed and deployed uh, an AI model. So uh, a typical workflow, uh, we gain access to internal banking data. Second, we apply our automated uh, machine learning platform, um, which, is, uh, which is mainly focused on generating features. And uh, our models then give predictions of probability of defaulting, so not giving back the loan, salary, and disposable income. So um, here is the accuracy of, of our model. So we can see that uh, our model accepted less uh, bad, bad applica applicants. 
and uh, this is this is due to to applying less but more more use case uh, related features so this is this is the accuracy for uh, cantab spy behavioral ai model so our idea was recognized, and uh, for this we got the Kivitech Global Innovation Award and the OTP Bank Best Scale-Up Award. Uh, next up is a super usual, uh, useful graph. Um, so we, th th these are the features, and on the y-axis you see the most important features uh, which are sorted from top to bottom by uh, by relevance and uh, on the x axis uh, are the shape values which um, uh, which gives us the impact on the model's output so uh, from here from this graph we gain uh, more information about the features and uh, we even get some ideas for uh, generating new ones. Okay, next up is uh, second uh, use case. So predicting clicks on emails. Mm, basically, uh, our client wants to have more effective marketing campaigns and uh, this is obtained by maximizing customers' engagement. So here, uh, I'm going to show you the, how quality of data and feature generations drive model performance. So the model accuracy is measured in the, in the Gini index. And uh, when using the off-the-shelf features and uh, feeding them to the model, we obtained a Gini index of 12.5. So after applying uh, Cantapy's bespoke feature generator, and feeding those features back to the model, we obtained a three times higher Gini index. But uh, we didn't want to stop here, so we wanted to, de uh, to develop a full potential of, of our model, and this was obtained by content labeling, by adding uh, external and internal data sources, and the end result was a model with a gene index of six, uh, 61. So that's, that's, that's quite significant. Um, also here is uh, again the aforementioned uh, sharp value graph. Uh, we can see that uh, features are again sorted by, uh, by relevance and uh, the template features gain the most uh, importance in, in these terms. So next up is, uh, are the tools, and Vinko is going to present uh, how uh, we do this. Thank you, Marco. So yeah, uh, I'm here to talk maybe more about uh, the architecture that enables all this uh, data flow. So. Uh, Firstly, we let's say about uh, let's talk about uh, the data lake and how the data flow is organized. And uh, uh, so, the first step, of course, is the getting the data from the client. And this sometimes used to be the the most most difficult part. As you meet the, with the client, you arrange one data format, and then the first batch of data comes. Send variables are missing. Three additional columns there are that you don't even know what they are about. Two two columns are in the wrong, wrong format. So yeah, sometimes it's really a headache to put them into the standardized uh, form, which we call the, the landing zone. From the landing zone, the data is moved to the common data layer, where we combine the multiple sources and uh, some additional data engineering is performed in order to, to get the, 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 the form uh, which we would like to call single source of truth. And here's the data in the, in the, in the format that we trust 100%, uh, and we are sure we can uh, perform analysis and uh, model on that data. But of course, before uh, doing the models and, uh, and, and analysis, you need to extract additional uh, knowledge and additional information from, uh, from, from, from the data to unlock the full potential of the feature generation that was uh, spoken by Marco. 
And uh, lastly, all that work paid off eventually in the use case data layer, where we integrate uh, the information back to, the, to our client in form of some BI dashboard, in form of the action that should be executed by them in a, in a, in a way to achieve their goals. So uh, uh, here is one example. Octopi is our recently launched uh, platform for the, for the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, here example of uh, what all the data sources we are using, such as Viva, Salesforce, Twitter, PubMed for some more uh, scientific information, Google Analytics, and then the various, uh, various uh, type of uh, integration back. Uh, but uh, what is a small key part of the success is uh, the small AI uh, models in each part of the, of the process that are enhancing the data and boosting it and unlocking the full potential of, of it for further uh, feature generation. So it's such as customer matching for the various sources, uh, data cleaning, uh, content labeling. With recent emergency of the ChatGPT, there is a lot of potential use case of it in order to reduce the, the work required to be handmade like a product categorization. And then in the end of the process, of course, there are some more complex uh, AI models and uh, optimization algorithms. So now let's maybe talk a bit more about uh, the programming language and tools that are enabling the process. So we are both using Python and R, but uh, here maybe the R is uh, less common and less known in the data science than the Python. So I'm here to focus, uh, to focus more on R and maybe put the discovery of some potential of the R. So because the R have some statistical advantage over, over, over Python. So R is uh, run on the uh, li uh, remote Linux servers that are accessed via RStudio server. And uh, we are using RM uh, library for, uh, for uh, project local dependency manager, so basically it's the, the managing and versioning of the package required for the project. And uh, we are cloud-oriented uh, cloud, uh, uh, company, so all the data is, uh, is not uh, locally stored, it's stored on the cloud. We are using Amazon Web Services as our provider, and particularly Amazon S3 as, a, as a cloud storage. And uh, Pulse is the library that are enabling us communicating with the service through the code. And we are using, of course, some other uh, services, Amazon Web Services, such as EMR3, to, for more complex, uh, more computing complex uh, frameworks. Uh, preferred data, tof, data format is the Parquet. Parquet is a column-oriented uh, file format, uh, which is uh, highly efficient in big data storing and uh, retrieving of any kind. And one beautiful thing about R is the deep layer package. Which, uh, with which uh, data manipulation seems so intuitive and uh, easygoing. But of course, we developed some, uh, some internal packages to, to help the whole work stream, such as some internal shagger functions, some packages to enhance other packages like uh, Klaus, and the NOAA, which is foundation for our MBA, uh, the next best action platform, which will be talked more uh, a bit later. And the one interesting problem here we, we tackled was the, the feature store. So the problem was, imagine you have 3 million customers and you develop 30,000 uh, features for, for, uh, for those customers. Storing table as it is in that large format is not maybe that much problem, but the greater problem is uh, accessing it in the, in the reasonable time. Because reading that, uh, that, uh, reading that big data is uh, time, time uh, consuming. And in everyday deployment, it, uh, it's uh, just uh, critical and, and it must be fast. So we came up with the idea of uh, splitting that table in a smaller, smaller tables, like mosaic-like structure, where the, where the, the package is actually uh, taking care of the management of the whole feature store. Basically, you, are just, uh, you just uh, pass the, the features you would like to retrieve. And then the, 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 the package will uh, manage that in the faster possible way. And by splitting that in the smaller tables, uh, only smaller portion of tables are needed to be readed and not the, not the whole, whole data frame. 
for uh, engine we are using for large, large data processing is uh, Apache Spark. And more recently, we tried to, to unlock the potential of uh, Apache Kafka, which is data streaming platform, enables us direct communication with the, with the, with the application. And in a real time, we are getting the actions our clients uh, are performing on the application. And in that way, we can trigger some actions depend on the, on the client's activity on the application, such as, for example, your company have the, the, the contract with the Heineken, and they would like to push the, the sale of Heineken on your, on your application. It, then if the customer put uh, some uh, beer, some other beer in the, in the, in the cart, you will offer them 10% discount. You will immediately offer them 10% discount on Heineken and, and try to, to get them buying the Heineken. Okay, and all that uh, infrastructure enables our uh, major project, which is uh, MBA, or Next Best Action Platform. It is, uh, the, um, it is the automated scaled up uh, platform which is available to be deployed on uh, various uh, use cases. And the main goal of the, of the platform is to determine the, the next best actions for, uh, for clients to, to execute in a way to achieve their goals, which is in the most uh, cases uh, right in the sales, but also it can be to improve engagement on uh, application. Uh, but not only that the list of actions that should be executed are the output of the, of the whole work stream. It is also analytical data lake, which is uh, used by us internally for, um, for, pro for monitoring of the whole process, uh, data streaming and uh, detecting the anomalies or uh, errors that will, uh, and preventing a bad output uh, due to them. As well, there is a everyday feature, automated feature generation, automated execution of the models, and the, pro and the processing of the, and the monitoring of the process of the models, which will allow us later to feedback information in the system and, and improve the further success of the whole work stream. And then the, the most important part is uh, integration back to our, uh, to our clients and uh, giving them the action they should uh, take to increase, the, to increase the, the goal they want to achieve, as well as some BI dashboard or analysis that will, get, that will give them better uh, sense of the market and the area they should uh, improve the most. And uh, that platform is successfully, currently successfully deployed into two niches. One is the aforementioned uh, pharmaceutical industry. Another one is the smart marketing. And maybe to get the sense what is the, about, in the pharmaceutical industry, we are preparing the cell preps of the, uh, of the pharma companies for the meeting with the doctors and to, to enhance the sale of the medication to the doctors. So basically, personalizing contact for, for, personalizing contact for each doctor, which uh, result in a doctor choosing the, the, the medication they, they are advertising. And uh, for now, it, 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 it uh, reached some immediate success. It uh, generated uh, more than 3% additional sales within four months and more than 30% faster uh, sale growth within the first five months of uh, deployment. And yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was everything from, from, from us. Thank you. <clears throat> Do we have questions? No? Okay. Well, that is it. We have to uh, search for Alexander. He has 